What's going on guys, TKD1 to the video, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video, okay? I know, you know, there's been a mix of a gaming and music, you know, here and back for the channel, but today I decided to do a little bit of a music video, and that's because I want to highlight some tracks from the weekend that you may not have ever heard before. Now, as of this recording, I am about to leave for the weekend concert, so I'm pretty hyped. I've been, you know, going through his back catalog, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been seeing a lot of his old stuff, you know, kind of re-listening to all the songs again, and uh, I want to highlight some songs that you may not have ever heard before. The first one I want to highlight here is a song primarily on SoundCloud and you know really all of these songs that you know are kind of you know not really on his albums or whatever or his mixtapes uh they are you know a home on this home on his SoundCloud right and so this one is called King of the Fall right and when this came out this blew every single weekend fan away man just because it is such a weekend song through and through but like it is it is also that new uh that like new birth of his new style right is where we saw you know from Kisslands kind of a kind of a continuation of his mixtapes where you know again it was dark it was gritty it was real it was raw you know what I'm saying but then we go to Beauty Behind the Madness and you know there was elements of pop in it right you know there was like the start of kind of this new weekends that is more you know kind of into upbeat pop music and then we get to finally Starboy on his albums and it's obviously the most pop out of anything he's ever put out right and so this kind of is like kind of the start of that with King of the Fall was basically the start of that and King of the Fall is a very very good track and it's a great homage to him you know being from the six being from Toronto stuff like that and you know if like hey if the you know term six gods are retaken by Drake why doesn't he pick up King of the Fall you know what I'm saying it definitely does make a lot of sense uh you know it's basically he has kind of this connection I feel towards the fall right like he has a lot of his tours in the fall stuff like that and uh you know the fall time has been kind of a really big thing for him uh in his industry you know and like overall his career and so him you know having a song called you know king of the fall and it being absolutely amazing at that uh it is a great track man i feel honestly it's one of his top tracks i feel like honestly it's in his top three i'm going to put it in his top five for real like uh king of the fall is a great track you know what i'm saying definitely go check it out on his soundcloud next up here i want to talk about a track that you know is not i don't believe it's on his soundcloud it might be but i'm not sure because I remember hearing this off of another person's soundtrack, right? I mean, um, soundtrack, SoundCloud. And, um, you know, the, the infancy of this track stems off of a track that he put out on an album. And that song is called Acquainted, you know, it is on the Beauty Behind the Madness, right? And, you know, towards the end of that song, right, there is a, there's a vast, and there's a sharp change in the beat. There's, there's a big change, uh, you know, in the overall kind of song, you know, and the way that's formed and its tone, right? And it goes into this little bit more of a deeper, cryptic type of song. And uh, basically, what this song here, what I'm about to say right now, is called Girl Born in the 90s. And this obviously is reminiscent of the line in Acquainted as well as that little part at the end of Acquainted. And uh, basically, this is the continuation of that second half in the coin and it is absolutely amazing there i feel like this song was meant to be on be behind the mask like, you know like this was definitely meant to go on the album but who knows why it wasn't who knows why it was canned who knows why uh it wasn't included on be behind the mask but i feel like this song definitely would have been perfect on be behind the mask because it is such a good song man like he just elaborates on some things that were talked about in acquainted and he goes on about talking about the hazards and dangers of girls being born in the 90s and how they are you know he feels dangerous you know what i'm saying and it is overall just a great track again it kind of is reminiscent again of that old weekend right so it's kind of cool how we are how we have be behind the madness being that kind of half point where you know it's kind of half dark and cryptic and the other half this you know again that pop weekend that we see now uh you know in his music today but you know kind of if we look at girl born in the 90s this was more reminiscent of his past weekend stuff where it's a little more dark a little more grittier and i feel it would have been an excellent addition to be behind the madness who knows why it wasn't included but at least it was released and i believe actually you know thinking back i think it was released on his official soundcloud i'm not sure about that 100 but definitely search up on soundcloud the girl born in the 90s and you'll find that leaked that you know cut uh from be behind the madness next up here i want to talk about another song here that was featured actually in a movie now of course the weekend is not new to this he has a song on the original uh what's it called the sex movie movies oh my god uh 50 shades of gray yeah, yeah there we go 50 shades of gray uh and uh um he has another track that featured in it that was featured in the movie as well and that track is called devil may cry now you know it's not reminiscent of anything from the video game or anything like that at least as far as i'm aware of um i know there's a game called devil may cry i know that you know it's like like a long term uh you know type of game but i don't believe that has any association or ties to it but uh in terms of devil may cry the song is actually you know uh actually prevalent and actually seen in the hunger games i believe the second movie i believe the second horror games could be the first but i'm pretty sure it's the second horror games and uh you know it is a song that really shows off the weekend's kind of vocal range because in this song man if you've ever heard him sing good man like this song 
is the exact song you want to highlight when you want to speak to terms of his singing ability. Like The Weeknd absolutely kills this song vocally and he hits those high notes that we all love to hear him hit and uh, it is Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> it is very much uh, a great track, you know, at that. And it is a shame that it's not on, you know, any mixtape, any album, whatever. Uh, I believe it's on the soundtrack to the Hunger Games, uh, I believe, second one, if I'm, you know, to go out, I guess. But I know it is on the Hunger Games movie, and it is overall a great track. Next up here, I want to highlight a song called Nomads. It's featuring Rich Hill. And um, this song, I don't really know its infancy, really. I just have it on my iTunes library, obviously, because, you know, uh, back in the day when I wasn't so much in the streaming, I was addicted to, okay, having the best iTunes library. Like, I wanted the best iTunes library possible and the most fullest iTunes library as well. You know, with, with me having any artists on there, I want to have their whole discography. I want everything that they've ever made to be on there, right? And that, you know, comes in terms of SoundCloud and mixtapes, albums, whatever it is, right? And so, you know, in that quest of trying to build the best iTunes library, um, I found this track here by The Weeknd featuring Rich Hill and I'm not really sure who it's from. I'm not sure. I mean, no. I mean, I know who it's from, but I don't know exactly where it came from. I'm guessing SoundCloud maybe if we're gonna go off of history but uh, you know this track here Nomads is again another example of the weekend singing ability and this song again like is very very gritty very real very raw and it uh, and it has just a great feature with Rich Hill I've never heard of him before but uh, you know he adds to the song in a very very intense way because with this he kind of has a kind of like a smoker's sing you know what I'm saying where where it kind of sounds like you you know was a smoker back in the day or like you know still is right now and uh, he just sounds you know just that just that nice rustic gritty feel to it and it definitely does go in well with the weekend's angelic vocals at times in this track so definitely it's a great track in my opinion i like the track a lot i highly advise you guys to go check it out nomads now you know back you know when uh the weekend put out trilogy right this isn't a new song this isn't anything that should be hidden but i feel like maybe the song was overlooked right and so in the trilogy right in the new release of the mixtapes right his three mixtapes echoes of silence thursday and house of balloons at that uh you know he put out the trilogy album it was basically was a mix remastered re i don't think we recorded but like a just basically a mix and mastered more more professional version of the mixtape was put out in the form of the trilogy album right and so in this album, right, uh, he puts in one extra song at the end of every mixtape, right? So we got three new songs in total in this trilogy album. And the songs were 28, Till Dawn, and of course, what I'm going to highlight today, Valerie. Now, Valerie, this song, I don't know where this came from. I don't know what inspired this song. I don't know what he had to go through to make this song, but this song is I feel one of his greatest songs of all time. This is again another top five, top three songs. If I was if I was to ever make a weekend top three, top five songs, Valerie has to make the cut. This song is so emotional and like you just feel like he's crying in the track, bro. He he okay, he doesn't cry, right? He doesn't cry, but he damn near comes really close to it, man. Like it is sounds, it just sounds there's so much emotion, there's so much, there's so much to this song that I cannot even stress that enough for this video, guys. I highly advise if you have not listened to the trilogy or if you feel like, oh, I don't think the trilogy, because you know I have all three mixtapes, it's fine. No, get the trilogy because overall the songs sound better, right? Overall, because they're mixed and mastered more, more uh you know in a way of an album you know what I'm saying that's so much you know as a mixtape but get trilogy mainly for the three new songs as added because it is worth every penny man like valerie is an insane track it's beautiful go check it out and last thing i'm gonna do here is i'm going to highlight my favorite weekend track of all time and a track that i feel doesn't get talked about it doesn't get you know like it just doesn't get the attention it deserves right and then it's from an album that also doesn't get talked about a lot and that is kissland now of course when 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 we got Kissland, right? It was a very very weird time because it was his first debut album, right? It was his first debut album, and it was really where kind of the public got to know The Weeknd, right? You know, saying like The Weeknd was more of like an underground artist, where like he was more on oh, the mixtapes. That's it. Like we didn't even know what he looked like at like a, for like a long time. We didn't even know what he looked like, right? But then we get Kissland, right? His first debut album, and it was very very divisive, right? Like we had a lot of people that hate it, a lot of people that liked it. I personally I liked it. Okay, like it was just basically a continuation of his mixtapes, where it was very very raw gritty and dark that is basically what encompasses his mixtapes and what encompasses the kiss line as well but with Kissland, I put my arm here for a reason, guys. This is serious. This is serious business, okay? For Kissland, right? We're looking at track 10, all right? Track 10, basically the outro of the album, if you don't count the Outlook remix afterwards. But Tears in the Rain is what I'm talking about. Tears in the Rain, you cannot fight me on this, man. Like, you... You can't do it. Like, you can name a classic weekend song. Okay, cool. But you can't name a better weekend song than Tears in the Rain. 
Tears in the Rain is is it is basically like a movie being played out. It, it is so beautifully crafted. It is beautiful in the instrumentals. It's beautiful in what they added audio wise. It's beautiful in what he's saying. What he's saying, tears in the rain. Okay, he's saying that all these girls around him. Okay, every single girl that he meets in the shows or out in public. Now that he's rose in the fame. Now that he's you know, risen to this higher status of the public. Right. You know. Now that you know, that, like that, like he's become a music star. Holy. Right. Like he's achieved what he's been trying to achieve. And he has all these females around him, and they don't feel nothing. You know what I'm saying? They feel like tears in the rain. Do you know how deep that is, man? Like I don't like I don't understand why this song doesn't get up a lot because Tears in the Rain, dude, this song is so good, man. He literally equates women in his life from you know from a comparison standpoint of someone being special in his life to like Tears in the Rain. They're all the same. Like, dude, how do you man? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why this song doesn't get talked about a lot. Please listen to the song if you've heard of it. You will thank me. And on that note, if you guys make sure to like, subscribe, and turn down below. I appreciate all of you giving me. Also, make sure to look out for tomorrow's video where we will be looking at the weekend vlog that I will be crafting as soon as I leave that door. We'll be going to the weekend concert. It's gonna be lit, guys. If you guys make sure to like, subscribe, and turn down below. I appreciate all of you giving me. Thanks for watching, and as always, I got you.